Oh wow. Have they got those in adult sizes? I want that. Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently 3.57 a.m. As you can see, Andy is wide awake. He's actually been wide awake since 2.30 this morning. I've been awake for about 20 minutes. We just sent a text out to the girls who are in the room next door just saying, who's awake? Turns out they've both been awake for about 20 minutes as well. We all had alarms set for four. Clearly we're all very excited to be going to Disneyland. So we are now up, even earlier than planned. We're gonna quite try and get ourselves ready, put this room back together. I mean, we checked in here last night and we've absolutely trashed the place because that's how we roll. But we're gonna get ready, get out and hopefully get an earlier Euro tunnel. But if I haven't already mentioned in all the excitement, today is the day we finally go to Disneyland Paris. I think this is Anna returning from retrieving crisps from the car. Say hello to the vlog. It's probably too early to be vlogging. Well, we've checked in. We've managed to get onto the slightly earlier train. Just looking up there, we're on the 6.15. It's currently 5.37. Our first call is in three minutes. So we've not got time to go and mooch around back there. I guess we, we have, if we didn't go at first call, but I'm not the kind of person who's not gonna go immediately on first call. So, uh, after that, I can't. No, we can't do <laughs> really, it. because you messed it. No, it's it fine, went... it just needs to get over there, that's all. Oh, oh I thought you had to... Just so that they see what number we're on, and now it blocks the screen. The I have covered the camera, but now we're gonna go and get on the train anyway. Well, after much faffing about at passport control, we now bump back to the 650 again. We're the last people, or what? I guess the first people on the 650. The, the people just before us did manage to get on the train, but we were delayed at passport control because they weren't happy that Andy had a different surname to me and the girls and Anna and they made us, I mean, it's it's all as you'd expect, I guess, um, but we had to put the back window down while they said, are you, are you not all right in the back there? And just check that we weren't kidnapping the girls. <laughs> or, Andy. or Andy, I guess. Um, yeah, by the time we got through all that, we've, uh, we've missed the 615 by, 30 seconds, so we've now got to sit here and wait for Yeah, because she told 15 us 16, didn't she? Yeah. The, the one good thing is if we're the first people on the next train, I can pretend I'm driving like I do on the DLR. Oh, but there's not going to be a window. I'll be driving the train. <laughs> Well, we are on the move. Andy, what are we doing? We're oh, under the sea. Oh, we're under the sea, the exactly. It's the sea, not the river. Oh, so under, under the sea. We said bye bye to England, didn't we? And we're going to this Wales. Yeah, where are we going now? To the Disney. We're going to Disney. He so said. Yeah, we're going to a hotel near yes. Disney. If one would sleep. No, day. we've got three sleeps. Three sleeps at Disney. Yeah. Splendid. Then we we'll go to Disneyland. We'll go to Disneyland Park tomorrow, but we're going to go to Disney Village today and have a look. Under the river. We're under the sea. Well, that is good. He's, that not, is he's not fully sure what's going on, I don't think. He's a little bit worried. He said bye-bye England. Yeah, he did say bye-bye England as we left. Are you two all right? No. Where's no, Lucy? I can't even see her. Lay out. Oh, there you are. Why are you down there? My ears are just coming. We're about halfway through the trip in France. Um, this is our second stop at a service station. The first one was to buy coffee. This one is to throw the coffee cups away. We've got officially one hour, 47 minutes left. Knowing us, that's probably gonna be at least one more stop. Our current ETA is 12.01 local time, which as I haven't changed my watch yet, will be old money 11.01, I think. You will I don't just understand. change that, will it? No, my Mine's watch is still 14. showing 9.14, <laughs> yours is 10.14. Um, so we've got a couple of hours yet, and then fingers crossed, we're hoping oh. we might be able to get into our room when we first get there. Um, we can we can, sort, we can get our tickets and stuff sorted from 10, so any time from now. The room yeah. time is officially 3 p.m. check-in, yeah. but I'm hoping if we turn up at like 12, half 12, they might have our room ready so we can just get straight in, and then we want to go swimming. Swimming? Swimming. Look how keen she is to swim. 
<laughs> Sorry, I was, that, man, that man's struggling, bless him. That car thinks it's a motorbike. It's in the motorbike space it next is. to us. And it's not even parked straight now. Very yet. sad. Right, should we, uh, should we continue on our... Oh, Lucy's awake! Um, <laughs> right, do we need to go in and buy you something? We all ate at the last service station while this one slept. Some There's some lunch. weird cheese crisps. They're things. like poms. They're like yeah, they're like poms. Do you, want, do, you, do you want to try them? You can have one. You can have the rest of them or we can go in the shop. You need to rub your eyeballs. What do you mean? Your glasses. Oh, okay. They're so oily. We did end up going into the shop um, and we found sort of vinegar crisps. The last shop, they didn't have any. And I actually put this picture on Instagram of green crisps, which were bolognese flavour, or there was some cheese and onion ones at the green as well, but it seems salt and vinegar is purple. Do you want some of these, Andy? Mm. No, he's just eating his green salt and vinegar at the moment. Because Anna's handing them to him one by one now, I'm tempted to try and sneak one of these in to see if they are the same. Look, it's English potato or British potatoes. British potatoes. They're probably out the same factory. And well, we have arrived at our hotel, finally. It is nearly one o'clock. That's what happens when you have as many stops as we did on the way. Um, but this is, this is a first little look at the hotel. We can't actually check into our room until three o'clock, so we've got a couple of hours to kill. So Andy really needs a toilet, so first job is to go and find a toilet. Um, and then our plan is, way off there in the distance, is the swimming pool. So we've got our swimming kits. We're gonna head there. We're gonna try and grab some lunch as well while we're out and about. And then get checked into the room as soon as we can. <sighs> it's impossible to travel with these people. That's not our car, Amy. On both of our things, we've got And then later on today, we will finally get to see a Mickey Mouse at some point. Right, we've just picked up our Disney passes and stuff as well. We're now wandering through the resort trying to find the swimming pool we i say trying to find we can see it's just there there's the little supermarket cafe place that we've got here which i'm sure we'll be using to get ourselves some breakfast sorted although we've got a little bit of a present pleasant surprise picking up our tickets it seems we've got breakfast all three days which i'm pretty sure we didn't pay for i think we only had it for two but i'm certainly not going to argue so we perhaps won't be going in there at all although they do have coffee and coffee is always good so we've got another restaurant there. The rain seems to be getting worse, but we're just pretending it's not happening. Business centre. I can go in and do some business because I'm a businessman. Don't know what else this stuff is. I think that's another restaurant and another restaurant. And we're slowly getting closer and closer to the swimming pool. So game place, arcadey type thing. Bowling and cocktails, which has caught Andy's eye. And... <laughs> Probably the bowling more than the cocktails. Um, we've realised Anna doesn't have a coat as well. So. You told me there was no room. Well, we all got coats. You told me there was no room. <laughs> In my defence, she's got long trousers and I don't. We had to make choices. I'm in shorts and a coat. She's got long trousers and no coat. Now that is what I call a swimming pool. Well, 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 what a kerfuffle. Kerfuffle number one. I forgot the GoPro, so we couldn't film any of the swimming. The swimming was awesome. We had a lot of fun. Problem was, problem number one, I lost my glasses part way round. Um, so we had to search for them. We, Anna did find them in the end, um, but we did have to search for my glasses. And then when we got back to the lockers, we realized Amy had lost her wristband, so I couldn't get back to the lockers. It's now, what time is it? Nearly three o'clock. So we're about 10 minutes from being able to check into our room and we're gonna go and find something to eat. Lucy is desperate to go back via golf cart. I don't know if there's any nearby. Are we doing some shopping, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> what are we looking for? We're looking for pop. We've got pop in the car. Your food is sorted. You need to get something for ourselves. Come down this one, look. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's finally stopped raining. Oh, your coat inside out again. <laughs> Andy is insisting on wearing his coat inside out all the time. We've got all our bags and stuff. We have lunch purchased. We're now just trying to find our room. I'm so hungry. Apart from the snack at the service station, we've not eaten since. 5 a.m. and now nearly 3.30 French time, so 2.30. It's a long time to go without food for, a, for a, a larger gentleman. Well, Andy's pretty happy because to get to our room, we need a lift. And um, we've just made it up. We're just waiting for those two. There we have the little shop bus, golf carts to get around. And I think our, our cabin, they're calling it, but it looks more like apartments to me, is around this corner. And we're kind of right on top of where the shops and things are, where we got our lunch from, which is, pretty much perfect although the car is miles away and you're not allowed to drive on the site we are right that's the lift 
This is our room. How do we get the lights on in here? So, here we go. Tour, starting from the lift, which we're going to have to keep Andy away from. And then this is our little apartment that we've got for the next three days. So in here, this is Lucy and Amy's room with their little window. In here, little washroom. So shower in there, oh yeah, and shower. Washroom and shower, this is the fanciest hotel room I've ever stayed in. There we have toilet. I guess this is closet space maybe? Yeah, wardrobe. Mine and Anna's bedroom. TV, which leads through to our little bathroom area. No toilet, interestingly. Then this is mine and Anna's personal bathing area, not for use by children. Little wet room and bath situation. There is only one toilet by the looks of it. Here we have our kitchen. So we can make ourselves some food, keep stuff cold. I think you probably know how our kitchen works. Dining area slash editing area. Andy's bed. Huh? Is that our Yes, that's our room. Andy's bed, TV for Andy, chairs, and then out onto our awesome balcony where Amy's already grabbed her chair. Another little dining area, my chair, and it looks out over the little shopping area where we just were. That's the swimming area where we were. There we've got the lake. Do we have to go to Disney? Can we just stay here for the week? This is awesome. Are you happy? You happy? Look it then, give me a it's smile. Really wet, so that's why I'm very drenched. Are you happy? Yeah, I found spare chairs. Yeah. Are you happy? Already got your plate. Don't know, quite know why we've got a high chair. Oh, and they've left us a couple of coffee pods as well. So I'm happy too. Because I can have a cup of coffee. Finally getting some lunch. I have a question. Do the French people not have handles on their mugs? Weird. Is that your chair then? No, don't know, Andy. You can't do that back. Lay <laughs> back. Right, lunchtime. Well, probably about two or three hours later, we are now all fully washed and dried and polished. We're just nipping back down to the little supermarket at the resort to grab some breakfast stuff for tomorrow because the breakfast we've got as part of our half board is rubbish. It's like one croissant, a glass of orange juice and a coffee and you have to book for it. it seems like a bit of a waste of time and we can just grab a box of cereal and a bottle of milk. So we're gonna do that and then maybe head to the bakery in the morning and get a croissant from here because they're gonna be cheap. Then we don't have to rush over to Disney first first thing and waste our magic hour time. Um, and then we are finally going to head over to Disney in a minute. Well, we've just pulled into the Disney Village car park. Andy, where are we? To go to Disneyland. I see. He seems to, yeah, seems so to think Disneyland Disney is here. I don't know how we're not going to be able to just go into that. We're going to waste one of our tickets going in tonight, aren't we? Because he's just going to insist that we do. We shouldn't because it is, it's already nearly seven o'clock. That would be an incredibly bad idea. We've been up. 15 hours at this point. I'm hungry again. I'm very hungry. Initial reactions. We happy? Yeah. You he cried in the car. Because he lied to me. He told me that was a castle. Yeah, and I Disneyland. was overcome with emotion. But it's not, it's all fine. Next time you cry, I'm pointing the camera at you. That was your one off camera cry you get. There's Mickey Mouse. First, there's undoubtedly many queues of the week to get into a next diner for some dinner. This place just looks cool and we're hungry. We're all right down there? Yes, Disney in the morning. Are you hungry? We're what? Disneyland on YouTube. You can put Disneyland on YouTube, yes. There you go, for anyone who ever wonders if he knows what we're up to, he wants to make sure we film it and put it on YouTube. Well, we're in, we've ordered. Absolutely no problem at all with Andy eating his crisps and drinking his own pop in here as well, which is awesome. Yeah, but they, they, they were fine with him having that, weren't they? So that's uh, that's a massive positive. And Amy is having a cheese hot dog, which I didn't know was a thing. 
But apparently, have you had a cheese hot dog before? No, I just think it's a hot dog with a bit of cheese on it. I imagine it probably is. Well, this looks very snazzy. This is a blue cheeseburger. There we have an onion burger, which Anna has realised has got cheese in. So we're trying out lactose tablets. But they look like she's going to enjoy them. Lucy, what have you got? That's a cheeseburger. And there is, for those of you wondering, what a cheese hot dog looks like. You like cheesy chips though, don't you? I wouldn't want that. I don't really like nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's nacho cheese. Look at the size of these milkshakes, you pair of monsters. That's like getting your dessert before you've eaten your main. It's got a biscuit in the top. Um, that is pretty good. What flavour have you got? I don't really like banana milkshakes, but that one's nice. Dinner done. We're all stuffed and shattered now, but we are going to force ourselves around a couple of shops just because, you know, we can't have our first date at Disney without soaking in a little bit of Disney atmosphere. So we've got the Disney store, a few other places. We're just going to have a little look, see what we can find. I want this. I really want this. I think we could all quite enjoy that if we weren't so stuffed. For anyone wondering how we've got Andy to walk around shops, we've got him on the uh, four shop system, similar to the 10 ride system we use. So this is shop number one. I don't know how many shops there are, but we're only getting him in four today. And then he's going back for a jacuzzi bath. That was the deal I had to make with him. So much Star Trek stuff. I've realised I haven't brought a hoodie with me and it's getting cold now. So if we're going to do the fireworks tomorrow, we're hoping to find hoodies. But in actual fact, we've found Marvel ears and Lucy yeah. wants a group cup. So you're getting a hat? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Look at Very this. cool, Andy. Do you like that hat? <laughs> what? Oh, the Captain America. Oh, wow. Have they got those in adult sizes? I want yeah. that. Yeah. Pumba seems to be very popular with you two. Yeah. Or is he Timon? Is that Pumba? Which, I don't know which one's which. That's Pumba. Okay. Right, me and Andy have done our bits. As you can see, I have my ears. Andy has his stylish new hat. And he also got himself a woody toy that just caught his eye. We're now waiting outside. We've sent Anna back in because she refused to move away from Andy at any point. If you watch the through Andy's eyes video, that probably won't be out until next week, you'll hear me trying to force her to get away from the till and just let me take care of Andy because me and him were done. Um, but she wasn't having any of it until she put us in a safe spot outside and now she's going back in hopefully to get something for herself or at least have a proper look. The girls are still rummaging around the stuffed toys as well. What have you got on your head there? Did you get anything else or just ears? Just ears, did you get anything? Boom! Is this going to be like when we go to Comic Con and I give you money and you just take it home and spend it on records? Are you going to be changing these euros back into pounds? Yeah, save cuddly toys for Friday, see how much money you've got left. You might see some other stuff you want before then. Do you like Andy's hat? <laughs> Andy, wait in. Mummy's just doing some shopping. Right, we've changed our shopping tactic. The female folk have gone off into the shops. With just the instruction of if they find a decent Marvel hoodie, let me know and I'll come and have a look. Meanwhile, me and Andy are wandering up here because this massive hot air balloon has caught his eye. So he wants to come and have a look at this. And then I think we are going to have to take him back. He's getting very tired. We're all getting very tired. Look, Andy. Look. Closed. Too much wind. Yeah. Yes, we can't go up in the balloon. Can we look at that today? Maybe. Go look at the castle. We can't go to the castle today. We're going to go to the castle. We're going to have a look at the castle tomorrow. No. We can't go in there now. But we're going to go tomorrow and have a look at the castle. Yeah? Desperately wants to get into the park tonight. You can see the river. Do you like it? Is it just nice coming over here to chill out a little bit? Yeah, waiting for mummy. It's a little bit quieter and a little more peaceful over here, isn't it? We've seen this before at really busy theme parks and just busy places like as you can see over there just how busy it is. Sometimes just hanging out by the water. 
even if we're still close to the action and the noise, being by the water just yeah. calms him down. They are so closed. They are closed because it's too windy. He really wants to go up in that balloon. I can't think of anything worse. I hope it's windy all week. I see a little shopping bag. What have you been purchasing? I didn't buy anything. Nothing. Did you record what she bought? Yes, I did. Well, I guess I'll find out when I'm editing the video. Two sets of ears. Two sets of ears? Oh, you're wearing some, I see. There's nothing in this bag. Oh. Why? What are the other ones? Let's have a look. Do they have any hoodies in there? No. One or two for you. So I've got them first. Okay. Trash. <laughs> what, you don't want them <laughs> now? <laughs> and then I got this. Yeah, we, we found another shop. So we oh, very snazzy. On our way here. Yeah, I wondered why you were taking I so long. I nearly bought an Aurora dress because it would have fit me. A what dress? An Aurora dress. So you can oh, Aurora. I thought she had an overall dress. See, she no, so I bought all these. And then we went to my shop and I saw these. And these are what I wanted. What, so they a different shop? Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you're a crazy person. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Well, I guess there's now a pair for Lucy to wear. I said you can buy them. Really? I might make two buns on my head. Then people will think you're here as a Star Trek person. I love yeah. your hat. I'll just go get ready. What is this? <laughs> Luckily, it's closed because of too much wind, and hopefully that will be the case all yeah, week. Get ready soon. I don't know. But that's what the sign says on the door. <laughs> I could not go up there. I went up one like that in Bournemouth years ago. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I was shaking. Well, you still quite. You were still quite young, I think. I think I was holding you, and I was shaking more than you were. I hated it. I was yeah, it was awful. And that was my one and only experience of ever going in a hot air balloon. I will never do that again. And that brings us to the end of day one of our Disneyland Paris vlogs. Tomorrow we actually get into the parks properly, but Andy's just getting himself settled down in his bed in there. I am about to sit myself down just there and edit this vlog. And then I should probably put these children to bed somewhere as well. But uh, yeah, that's been an awesome but very long day. It is now 10 past 10 here in France, so it's at 10 past 9 UK time. We've been up a while. Vlog needs editing, then bedtime, and then we're up super early tomorrow for our extra magic hours. So if you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. Thank you very much for watching. And just have a little look at this at night, it's awesome.